Nigeria statesman and Nigerian politician identified as Basha today has won those beating drums of war to stop doing so for the benefit of the country. Record there has been uprising in different parts of the southern part of the country since an ultimatum was issued to Fulani Esme to vacate the zone over cases of rising insecurity. A Yoruba freedom fighter identified as Sunday Igboho has been at the forefront of pursuing the S-men from the southwest while the Eastern Security Network coordinated by the indigenous people of Biafra has been championing the cause in the southeast region. In a statement made available to Daily Trust newspaper, Basha Tofa, a Meduguri born airline, condemned the unprovoked attacks on the Fulani S-men in the south in the south might soon spiral out of control as the northerners will retaliate which will be difficult to control he said that the enemies of the country are more determined to set the people against one another so that we would burn basha called on president muhammad Buhari to take this uprising seriously in order to stop it by means he called those stocking the stocking up tensions foolish leaders who are forgotten that their people reside in other parts of the country <laughs> okay i subscribe to basha's admonition that those endangering tension across the country to douse their fire and embrace peace we have lived for so long that we all know what causes division amongst us dialogue and negotiations are still the best way to control this surprising we have millions of southerners in the north and if they begin the attack blood will flow we can't risk another war in this 21st century in which other countries are making tremendous progress mm. basha too far well they all they all face one direction i think majority of them because we still have some people who with their head is still uh, their heads are still uh, intact they all face one this direction i am glad that this man called the uh, uh, buari to do something instead of them to call buari to say something so he can there's something you can do as the as the c and c commander in chief there's something he can do genuinely that all these things will die down but he will not do it these people will not face buari that is the president but they are always looking for oh some people are stalking the ember of a a war but the question is that is it the same politicians that are telling the s men to be committing all those atrocities i don't i don't just know i think these people need to be asked a, a pertinent questions because questions have not really been put to them when all of these things were happening you were talking of dialogue you are talking of dialogue i could remember a time at least that is what i can't even i can even remember for for the now in anambra state when some uh, fulani boys were seen on bikes in, on, in broad daylight parading ak-47 what did they do did they arrest them no they didn't arrest them they called me yetiala group in that in that in that state to say oh see what your people we saw them doing and they just they walked out on the security people and the stakeholders and even the governors in, inside that meeting that okay what do you expect them to do they're using it to protect themselves that they can do what they can do their worst that was what the Mietiala told the people even at the meeting they called them and then we, de- we never heard that they arrested them or they didn't arrest them they walked they just walked out on them the media that is the umbrella of a uh, esme they walked out of that meeting and they said go and do your worst that our people must protect themselves like seriously who licensed them some people are not carrying crying now hey okay eastern security network oh they are carrying this oh they are carrying that this and that but full like, that who authorize them that uh, it is not legalized but everybody everybody knows in this country that uh, these full anim boys or whatever they call them they have been parading themselves with a uh, with a uh, listen with ak-47 nobody talk about peace like i said in that meeting in anambra they didn't arrest anybody they didn't up to today that we speak all of you tofa basha you did not see all of those things when people were crying did you ask that are you sure that all this is really happening in the first place that is now warranting all, the, all these things no you are not asking that so it is the same politicians that were telling the esme or it is your own politicians that sent all those esme down to the south to be committing all those atrocities every now and then eh, people some, some politicians what are people that died what are people that who have been killed see the rubbish that is happening in your area now in your region you are not none of you none of you is saying anything 
you people are just quiet and that, that is just the way you want the so um, even the the so called leaders in the <laughs> in south in this in the south generally they are not even coming out how many of them are even say are they even speaking apart from a fairy fairy i've never even heard anything concerning you know about all these things from a uh, organizi middle best i don't think so uh pandev no mm, we are not even hearing anything from them so the issue now is that what is the problem what is the cause of this problem that made these people to say to to want to fight for themselves because even the so-called buari he's not even fighting for anybody he's not protecting anybody this are this issue of threats. i am not getting it it's it, and it's getting on people on a daily basis the way at which these these people respond when people have been crying all this why why didn't you say anything why didn't you caution them why didn't you caution them or you think uh, it is not. It is nothing. Uh, what has been happening? What the S men are doing is not a big deal. Uh, they should sit down. Why didn't you arrest them? You will come and tell us that uh, all S men or all Fulanis are not criminals. But the ones that are criminal, but you know that there are some people that are criminals. But other people, other regions that we have criminals, they are arresting them. Go to the uh, police station. You will see a lot of people who have committed one offense or the other. The place is is filled. It's filled up. But what about uh, this uh, S men? Have they been arrested? No. Even if they arrest them, they will still release them. They don't even they don't usually arrest them. I can't even count how many of them that they, they have been, they've, uh, they've arrested and they have released. Most of the time, they don't really they, they don't arrest them. All of you just be threatening people. Oh, these these people should just be civil. Just just they should just be civil. No, nothing should happen. Just just be bearing it. Let them sit on round table. They will kill one today. We sit on round table tomorrow. Ten people. Yeah, another day, me, women will be messed up. Uh, children will be messed up. They should sit sit on round table. You are you are not doing anything. All of those people who are coming, all the problems that you guys have created, bringing all these people all the way from uh, another countries. Did you say anything about it? If that is what you do in your region, you are okay with it. You don't want to talk. Good and fine. Good and fine. Always just a. Uh, 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 threatening people just for what let it not begin now <laughs> stupid old man without leadership sense so uh the fulani s men uh, stop or tell the fulani s men to stop killing us um we make not strike we don't make not, uh, not strike go on strike make we see please let the retaliation start to facilitate the disintegration of the zoo Old fool, start it quick already. It is not new. You are crazy. Illiterate terrorist Fulanis kill our people in the past, but killing our own people in an ancestral in our ancestral home is a taboo which cannot stand. Good, that will aid the breakdown of the country. We do not want to be Nigeria again, but Odudua nation. Is that simple enough? Attack Igbo people in the north is attack to divide <laughs> good governments. Oga, don't hide under our knot. Talk nonsense. Look at your eyes like a, 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 a very poor statement from an elder statement. By the way, Fulani is not in uh, the north. The north has many more non Fulani reasonable tribes that are not killing any person and are not being killed by any. All the killings in the north, north central, and in the south are masterminded by Fulani. Fulanis who have never been part of this broken country. Really? Okay. It took it looks like the earlier elite of the north support cow to be destroying southerners. Uh, southerners. That is it. They support it. They just want it. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Let's see. And leave your comments in the comment section.